All right, here we go. Ahmad, you've written a really nice essay here. Um, just as a reminder, we can read through the prompt. It says, ensuring that children have regular physical exercise should be the responsibility of parents, and therefore schools should not waste valuable school time having sports as part of the curriculum. To what extent do you agree? Um, and I think overall you've written a really nice essay here. Um, I've made some very detailed corrections, so don't be overwhelmed by the amount of red. Um, some of the changes that I made were more for style, um, just showing you some more natural phrasing. Uh, not all of them are grammar mistakes per se. Um, we're going to go through the essay in detail, but the yellow uh, are things that you should look at in terms of essay and paragraph structure. Um, the green are specific grammar errors that you should really, um, grammar or vocabulary errors that you should really take a look at um, that really kind of jumped out at me that would be easy to fix. Um, and then the blue are things that I thought you did a really good job with. Um, so uh, overall you can see you've gotten a pretty high score here, 6.5. Um, these two areas are the ones that are kind of letting you down. You'll see some cohesion and coherence uh, mistakes just in terms of um, some of the grammar there, the um, kind of overuse of some cohesive devices and some grammar errors with some of the conjunctions and um, adverb phrases there. Um, and then also the grammar is not quite high enough to get up to a seven. You've done some, some good things with complexity, but there's just too many errors there. Um, but task achievement is quite high and vocabulary as well. Um, you did a good job with a lot of the vocabulary that you used. So uh, let's go through it specifically. All right, starting with the first paragraph here. The introduction is very, very nice. Okay, you've used our kind of introduction outline um, extremely well. Uh, I thought really good um, introduction of the context, followed by a nice setup. Um, if I had one comment, it might be just a little bit long uh, of a sentence, but in this case, it might be necessary, um, seeing as we have kind of a two-part um, claim here. Um, you know, responsibility of the parents and schools should not waste school energy. So um, good there. And then a very good thesis statement. Just a few little grammar touches there. Um, moving into the next paragraph, this body paragraph, um, you know, I thought that this was a little bit too much. Uh, this first sentence of the paragraph should be nice and short, uh, nice and direct. Um, you could try to limit this and, and keep it a little bit shorter. I don't think that you need to mention this in the introduction or the, the topic sentence, as you do cover the point about parents here in the second part of the paragraph. So um, if anything, just maybe remove this little piece right here. Okay. Um, I've added a couple of phrases just to keep it clear that these are not um, these are not claims that you actually support. These are claims from the other side. Um, so keeping with what you said here, some people think, you know, they believe, they claim, like that. Um, in this case, you kind of need those. Um, otherwise, it sounds like you really believe that teaching sport and physical exercise doesn't need skill or educational background, or you believe that school should only concentrate on you know these kind of subjects which you don't believe that right so in this case you need to add these little phrases okay um let's see i thought a little bit overuse of cohesive devices here um if you remove this it's clear to the reader without it that this sentence is directly related to this sentence okay so trust your paragraph structure, don't overuse these cohesive devices. Especially here, this sounds like you're introducing a new idea. Um, you know, by, by leaving that out, the reader gets the sense that this is connected to this. Since you don't have any cohesive device there, it must be connected to the previous idea. Um, and then you're only using these big cohesive devices when you're linking to the next big idea. Okay? Um, Let's see. Yeah, I changed here to some. If you notice, you start with some, then you've got they, they, and then conclude with some. This final sentence, it can be removed, but if you're going to include a kind of conclusion sentence for the paragraph, it's linked back up with this first sentence. Okay, so you're going to see a repeat of the sum here. 
I'm moving on to the next body paragraph. Um, I've removed this sentence. It's not offering any new information. It's just essentially saying the same thing as you said here. Okay, so this can be removed. It sounds repetitive. Yeah, but otherwise, this paragraph is really nice. Okay, um, moving into the conclusion, uh, overall a really good um, structure of your conclusion. You're using the strategies in the video course very well. Um, this last sentence is excellent. Uh, this sentence here could be shortened a bit. Yeah, uh, just like your sentence here. Okay, can be shortened a little bit. Um, yeah, make this more concise. That's what the examiner is kind of looking for there. Okay, looking through your individual grammar um, problems or vocabulary problems, just notice here, because of reasons, this is related to cause and effect, and this is related to cause and effect. It's repetitive. So using for here, for two main reasons. Uh, next, subjects such as maths and biology do not get capitalized unless you're referring to a specific course such as Math 101, okay, or Math 104, like a university course. Uh, but if you're referring to the subject, then you don't use a capital letter, okay? Use this if you're connecting to an idea that you just mentioned, okay? Um, such kind of, just such, okay? Or these kind of classes, but such kind of, no. Um, this was used throughout the essay. Exercise in this context should be uncountable. Okay, the word exercises refers to different, um, like if you go to the gym, you can do push-ups, that is one exercise. You can do pull-ups, that's another exercise. Squats is another exercise. So if you're discussing your gym routine, you can ask someone, hey, which exercises do you prefer? Okay, that works. But in this context, uncountable, exercise. Okay, crucial already means very important. So we never say very crucial. Crucial means like, um, it's another word for crucial. It's the word I'm looking for. Um, oh, the word is escaping me right now. But it means it, it cannot be removed. It is necessary. Okay? You can't be very necessary. It's either necessary or not, crucial or not. So remove the very there. Um, similar to your problem here, for two main reasons, in several ways because of many aspects doesn't work. Okay, again with the biology and here you have although and then however. You can't use both. You have to choose one or the other. Um, advise with an S is the verb form. Okay, and you're going to use an ing word after it. Advise removing. Um, yeah, remove something from something. Okay, so advise removing sports classes from the school curriculum. All right, and then uh, with the verb recommend, I recommend that someone do something. Remove the two. Okay, this is kind of a strange, the word recommend involves a little bit of strange grammar, and you can ask me um, specifically about that um, if you want to, but uh, for now just follow this. The same with advise. Yeah. Um, all right, and then the really good grammar that I noticed, um, I really like your use of um, thus and therefore and thus after a semicolon. That's really nice. Okay, that's a good complexity there. Um, and let's see, what else did I look at here? I, I like how you started this body paragraph. That was really good. Um, and then interact and collaborate. That's a nice um, combination of vocabulary. And isolated and depressed. Very nice. It's important that these words mean something different from each other. Um, too often I see students who use two synonyms here. These are slightly different meanings, and that's what you want. Isolated and depressed, slightly different meanings. That's what you want. Good. Okay, and then as I said, this final sentence is excellent. A um, couple little grammar problems, but the in terms of strategy and um, organization, this is very good. Definitely follows um, what we're teaching in our strategy courses. So you're doing a great job applying all of the band nine strategy. Uh, just keep working on these cohesion and coherence uh, and grammar issues, um, especially the things that I highlighted. What I suggest is write five sentences using those words or phrases correctly just to drive those ideas into your mind. Okay, Take out a notebook, write five sentences um, for each of these 
things to make sure that they stick in your head. Okay, so overall, really nice job, pretty decent score. Um, improve a couple of areas, you're almost up to that seven level, um, which is a really big milestone. So keep up the good work.